Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of cryptography super important questions. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to yourself, uh, if you found this video helpful. And let's get started. The document link is in the description box. So in the module 5 we have two chapters which is IP security and uh, transport and tunnel modes. So if you are planning to do any one of them that will be sufficient for you because 9th question will be from here and the 10th question will be uh, from here in most of the cases. So let's get started. We will be discussing only this one. I will not discuss anything about this one. Let's get started. And uh, IP security overview applications of uh, IP security and benefits of IP security. You need to know the basics first. So we have the applications and benefits of IP security. Okay, there are four uh, different uh, applications applications which is secure branch office, secure remote access, establishing extranet and intranet connectivity, enhancing electronic commerce security. These four are the applications of IP security. I have to write a few words regarding that. After that we have the benefits in which we have the about the firewall and the resistant to bypass, transport layer, transparent to end users and the providing of the security. These are the five uh, points here and the four points here for the 10 mark this question is okay. So make sure you know this question very well. Moving on we have the second one which is IP security architecture with a neat diagram. Explanation regarding this is uh, up to you only how you will be writing. Here we have the SPD which is security policy database. Write a few keywords regarding that. Then we have two more components which is IKE and IPsec v3. So here also we have security association database. In these two writing of the things you have to write about the key exchange here and you have to write about the pairing here. Okay so uh, regarding these two things you can uh, write like these two things are same just there is a connection in between. This is the IPsec architecture. Moving on we have the top level format for encapsulating security payload which is ESP packet. Okay, so ESP packet about what it is you have to write and the format consists of seven different parameters with differing bits. You have to write about this. You can go through it and this is the diagram you have to make. Moving on to the last question we have important features of IKE key determination algorithm. It is a refinement to the Diffie key exchange, uh, Diffie Hellman uh, key exchange uh, algorithm. Okay, and this is the equation you will be supposed to write. There are two attractive features of it and the features of the determination of IKE algorithm and three basic requirements are there. This is all what you have to write for the uh, 10 mark question. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.